Welcome back everybody, Dave the Gamer here today wanted to take a look at the Nax Ramus attunement along with is it worth getting exalted with Argent Dawn. Now a lot of this is a hot topic, there's some great turning quest and different uh, things you can actually get as rep rewards from Argent Dawn so I want to go over everything and kind of give you an idea about this. And before I get into that, just wanted to make a friendly reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed. Check out my AQ20 farm where I go over the details for my giveaway that I'm doing. I'm giving away $100 total in Amazon gift cards, and that's going to be happening on September 14th, 2020. So make sure you check out that video for all the details. And let's jump into this. So there's going to be tons of different turn-ins come phase six where you're able to get these different insignias uh, to be able to get different rewards and all of it stems around Nax. So you're going to need a turning quest for Nax that is actually going to be required. And the higher the rep you have with the Argent Dawn, uh, the lesser it's going to cost overall. To give you an idea, being revered for Nax Attunement will cost you two Arcane Crystals, one Nexus Crystal, and 30 gold. So roughly 155 gold uh, overall. And the next step makes it free. So if you were to go from revered to exalted, you save 155 gold. That's 21,000 reputation. Now, if you're just grinding the shit out of dungeons and even that, so you could do Skolomance and Strat, uh, Strat Home to actually be able to get up to pretty much max cap of Honored. And then the whole way from Revered to Exalted, you have to do, there's all kind of different ways to do like turning quests and stuff like that. But as you see here up on the screen, uh, what a lot of people are referring to, if you haven't heard about these, is these different turning quests where you'll turn in, you know, as you see, for if you're honored, you need 75 insignia of the dawn, 75 insignia of the crusader, crusade, whatever. And with that, you're going to turn those in and you're going to get different types of uh, equipment, whether it be a necklace, a wrist, you know, leather, like as you see, none of this is, now the one that is nice is this talisman. The talisman is excellent for healing classes. So I could definitely see healers having to go out and get this. And as far as the other side of it, and as you see, when you go from like friendly to honored to revered to exalted, it just re uh, like, so from honored to revered, as you see, you go from 75 down to 45. Like I said, if you should be, if you're any hardcore player, semi-hardcore at all, you're going to at least be honored just from doing Skolomance and Stratholme. So with a little extra bump, you could easily get to Revered and save yourself having to get a ton more of those insignias. The second part of it, you can get a ring for healing. Not a bad ring, get some mana, you know, mana per five seconds, nothing crazy. Even through these ones, a lot of people will do it just to get the supply bag. In order to get the insignias, if that's the route you wanna go, there's tons of different items that you can actually turn in to be able to get it. So a long list of different turn-ins. Now, after going through this list one by one, trying to factor out the different prices it would cost per turn-in, just to give you an idea, a turn-in not only gives you an insignia, but it also gives you 50 rep. Um, like as you see, 20 thorium grenades, 15 arcane protection potions. What I found the best ones to be, now on my server, I didn't find too many of them in the auction house, but they're easy to actually go out and farm yourself, depending on if you have the fishing level. But the lightning eel, Plated armor fish on my server, they're only 15 silver a piece. So to get 30 of them for one turn in would cost four and a half gold. So that's not too bad. Do these turn ins, you're going to pick one. So you're either going to get the, the Dawn or the Crusade. So essentially, if you needed, say, 30 of them to be like, you need 30 of each, you'd have to do 60 turn ins. Like I said, the Lightning Eel, the Plated Armor Fish, those are going to be some of the best ones overall. Next up, I would go with is the thorium tube. Uh, it requires 14 thorium tube, which is roughly 84 thorium bars. Comes out to roughly about 12 gold total per turn in. 
Big difference from 4.5 gold from turning in on the fishes. But if you can't buy the fishes, then you're going to pay a little bit more uh, to get those items if that's what you really want to go with. Other than the thorium tubes, I would go with the major healing 20 major healing on my server they're selling at 60 silver a piece so that's also is 12 gold per turn in and finally the radiant helmet so this one actually what you need to craft it is 18 thorium bars and four heart of fires which comes out total to about 9.6 gold total per turn in so if you're going to go this route and you wanted the quest rewards, I recommend, like I said, sticking to either the plated armor fish, a lightning eel, the radiant helmet, or the thorium tubes. All of those are great choices uh, after breaking the math down further. So if you wanted to say, get uh, the healing trinket, you need a total of 90 turn-ins. And if you were going with the radiant helmet, uh, that's 10, uh, 10 gold per turn in. You're looking to spend about 900 total gold to be able to get that trinket, which is not too bad for a good uh, trinket, especially if you don't have a decent trinket already and you want to get into the more high end rating. Might not be a bad trinket. You have to let me know or do you find any of these? overall worth it i don't think any of the items are too crazy one thing i do think the overall uh argent dawn rep is good for is if you are to be revered with argent dawn to be able to get the plus 24 healing enchant for bracers along with revered for the plus five frost resist for the back which is going to be crucial for nax Pretty much every decent guild that's in Nax really trying to push through it, you're going to at least need to have that frost resist. And at that point, if you're going through all these turn ins, you got a ton of gold you're looking to spend and you're a try hard, I would go exalted because you can get plus five resist to all. So then you don't have to swap between different back pieces throughout the run. Another thing with the insignia rewards is if you turn in 10 insignias plus 30 gold, you can actually get a frost resist enchant to be able to put it on your head and legs plus 10. So at bare minimum, I would do a total of 20 turn-ins and 60 gold to be able to get both that frost resist on legs in the head and also get revered so you can get the plus five resist on the back. Now the Nax attunement overall, like I said, the different rewards, is it worth it going to exalted? I still don't think so. I think the turn-ins the, to get the frost resist and chance and things of that sort, yes, I think those are worth it, especially when you can get almost revered, like max out honored through doing Skullamance and Strat Home. I highly recommend doing those anyways to get the dark runes and uh, other things that mana users are going to use. You have to be at least honored to be able to get in complete the Nax attunement quest anyways. So why not do a little bit more and reap a lot more rewards? In the top right corner there, that is the new AQ20 farm for hunters and rogues. Hunters making upwards to 180 gold an hour, completely updated with new pricings, the best path to take, macros and everything else you need to know. And as I mentioned in the beginning, I am doing the final giveaway. I'm picking the winner on September 14th at 9 p.m. So if you haven't watched that video in the top right corner, make sure you click it, find out the details, and join in the giveaway. As always though, game on.